That's what it looks like. But I decided that I wanted to come in really quickly and do the aloe treatment that I did with the girls. Uh, it is overdue. I had my braids in for over a month and a half, maybe two or three months. I don't even know, but it's been a long time since I had it washed. You see my hair is just overdue for everything, but I decided that I wanted to use this as a pre-poo maybe. I don't know, but maybe like a pre-poo. I'm gonna see how I wanna do it, but definitely want it sitting in there. I got a lot of old gel in my hair, and I just I just know I have a lot to do. So I want to get my life together. This time I actually have this little sock thing, um, so I won't be, I don't think I'll be using a blender, we'll see. Um, but I already got the aloe. I got three pieces, because as you see, your girl hair is like super thick. So I didn't know how much I needed, but we'll see. So I'm gonna turn their TV back on, but you can just watch me like you did last time. And let's hope that this goes a lot better. It's weird because David doesn't know, but we're gonna have a little date night tonight. So I have a friend coming over, watching the girls, which is so exciting because this is literally gonna be our first little date night since having kids. Like <laughs> we have not had any time by ourselves not even our anniversary or anything like that for the past like couple years without kids so um we're gonna have our come or um, um our cousin and my best friend come later on and david's currently mowing the lawn so i'm trying to get this together so i don't know if i want to put this under a wig and pre-poo all night until the morning i'm thinking i kind of want to do that let's see how it, i don't really know but I want to see, but I need to get it started. It's three o'clock, and it's supposed to be coming roughly by seven thirty. So I'm gonna turn this TV back on before they cuss me out, and you can just watch me do do everything. All right, so the babies are finally asleep and I can actually section everything off. But before I start doing that, I do want to make a note that if you did not notice, my stocking cat kind of bust open. So I would probably advise that you probably double stocking cap, blend it first, pour it in, and it'll probably happen a lot faster. I swore I spent over like 15 minutes trying to do that, and I was like, ding! But I'll blend it, then pour it through. So yeah, but I got my two little things full of dripping <laughs> aloe. And I think I'ma just go ahead and just section off my hair with the baby's hair ties because I don't have any more. And like I said, the goal is for it to stay in overnight, but because we are running low on time and I still gotta do something to my face and everything like that. So let's do that first. I don't really care if I ruin this because the shirt is overdue for a wash. 
So let's do that. Just watch me do it. I'm gonna watch a little TV so I can go a little fast or whatnot. But yeah, as you can see, your girl probably overdue for. Ooh, how long is? It? Oh my god. Hmm. Your girl hair is getting long. So it's probably like if I can pull this and back. What long is that? Is that? Hair falling out? Okay, because I, I know. Wow. What, what length is that? Y'all tell me. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Is that? It's a little lower than. I don't know, y'all. That's crazy. Oh, that is crazy. So. Obviously, y'all can help me out, but David said it was like three or four, three inches above tailbone. So, but let's go ahead and I feel like I have to do this because it's just so satisfying to look at. Let me turn on my station, pop me a good drink, pregame. Yeah. Hold on, I turn the radio out. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, remember I told y'all I had a plan. Can you put the windshield wipe on faster? Yeah, remember I told y'all I was gonna surprise David and let him get out the house and all that. So we out, my head situated. I was already preoccupied. David had to get fashion really ready. But it just feels so weird, y'all. Like, I, like literally, like, literally, this is the first time in, like, years. <laughs> that we had, like, a a date night where we were away from the baby. Yeah, like, so everything went pretty fine. I was going to film, but then I felt that I was going to, like, take away from the actual information I need to give. But. And it's, it's crazy because I woke up this morning and I was like. I feel like we're getting close to having a date night. And when we do have one, I, I hope that we're able to film it so we can, can show everybody. <laughs> really? That's what you thought about today. That's what I was thinking today. And then you hit me up with the surprise. I'm like, dang, she in my head. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you acting like it's not a big deal. Like I ain't just hitting them with the ones and twos. How do you feel? I feel surprised. Happy. <laughs> I, I put on my best today. She yeah, like, I don't know what the next time I'm going to have to wear. It. Yeah. <laughs> like, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I should have showed y'all, like, the outfits and stuff like that. But, you know, when the first time leaving kids and stuff, I ain't want to, like, make cause too much attention and stuff like that. So we snuck out the house. But, yeah, he put on his Sunday's best. I got on this, like, silky, like, smooth situation. Got my hair look decent, you know what I'm saying? Like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just feel like overall like 
I don't, it feels surreal to me because like we've been missing like anniversary dinners like all kind of stuff like we haven't had an anniversary in like three years since we got married since, <laughs> since our honeymoon yeah. i don't think we celebrated not really no no and since being pregnant and 20 since having nala we haven't had a, a date without the kids crazy like this new territory yeah, right here, so I don't know how I feel to like think. I'm 25 again <laughs> <laughs> so only thing is you know since everything started opening back up I'm just like a little bit concerned about like wait times stuff like that oh we're in Florida Ain't no rules down here no more. Yeah, ain't no rules Every, everything's open no capacity. I mean limits. outside of wearing masks. That's it there Ain't really no rules no more. So it, like our eating places have been kind of crazy like I've been calling around and I told the lady earlier that I was gonna be like coming or whatever but she said they couldn't do no reservations but to call her again around like that 7 30 time she'll tell me what the wait times are looking like but they didn't answer the phone so and I called a couple of the places for backup and they didn't they that I wait was like because I did Tiki Dots and it was two hours. Oh, it's, that's the standard. It's always two hours. Eh? Yeah, it's always two hours. <laughs> so the plan is to go to Green Lemon, and we haven't been to Green Lemon since since you uh <laughs> since, <laughs> since you uh messed up the place. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was something in that drink. <laughs> it was something to drink. So uh, mini story time. So basically, we had went to Green Lemon. Yeah, it was me, you, and Keanu, and, and one of my friends. So we um, all went to out to drink, and then I had like a margarita. With they're like infamous for the margaritas, like a little Mexican style place. I had. I didn't even have a lot. Like I did not have a lot. I had like this is. This is how much in the cup went down. I drank it, and then all of a sudden I'm like super lit, like super like drunk or whatever, like eyes getting low, like gotta pee all the time. Then I get in the bathroom, and go, guys, I end up tossing up. I end up tossing up, <laughs> and I didn't want to touch the toilet because at the time it looked kind of funny. So I was like, you know what? How about I just run the water in the sink? and then like toss up in the sink and then just like kind of clear it out so you just go down the sink that was a bad idea because it didn't work and i guess i had all kind of particles in it and it was not going down and then i was like "Ooh, what am i gonna do now there was nothing i could do well i'm gonna ask for a cup i don't know like so i i just walked out and was like <laughs> i told my friend i was like somebody messed up the bathroom like it's throw up in the sink <laughs> and then she's like for real i was like yeah girl go look <laughs> she looked and she's like oh man so then a part of me said do i want to tell somebody that hey you know maybe they should check the sink out or something but then i was like i don't know so i was too drunk to like really what do I look like telling them like, hey, I think somebody threw up in the sink. Like, they're gonna be like, you the one threw up in the sink. <laughs> so I wobbled my way back, back to the table. And then we talked about it at the table. And then I was like, ooh, I'm feeling lit, this and that, whatever. So then we ended up going to like a club afterwards, but it was too early. We tried to go to the club. Yeah. And then you <laughs> threw up. Oh yeah, and threw I threw up again on I the threw way. Up in, in the Baker America parking lot. Yeah. And then I threw up again when we got to the parking lot of the club. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is going on? Like, I didn't even drink nothing. Like, I when I tell you I barely drink, I just thought about this. It probably don't sound like a place I should go to. <laughs> <laughs> but when I tell you, this was not our first time going. We've been there like a handful of times prior to this. But when I tell you, child, I was so lit. And then it got to the point, I don't even know how we ended the night. I don't even remember. But the only thing I know is that was the second time I ever been drunk. First time was on my 25th birthday when I had my first drink. And that was my second time being drunk. I've been super like lit tipsy, but I, 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 
I don't like to be drunk. Like I don't, cause I hate hangovers. I learned that the first time. But this time, I, I don't know, they laced my drink or something because like, no. Anyway, so that's what happened. But we're going back there because I missed the place. This is our only opportunity. Yes. And they have like big bowl drinks. So that's the reason why we like to go there. We're going to be traveling. We're going to talk. We're going to reminisce. We might sing a little bit and until we get there. So, yeah. You want to hear my song? <laughs> What's your song? What's my song? Noelle don't like your or song. Or you said Noelle don't like my song. She don't like your song. Oh, she don't like my song. <laughs> the heart, let go of my past for you. You did everything I asked for you. <laughs> I fuck my thought this area is so cute these little condos down here in this area i bet they're so expensive though but oh, they're yeah. so cute my best guess is this could be an adult store <laughs> you just never know people i don't know why they even still have those people still buy sex tapes is that still a thing you gonna make a right up here on how or... i guess if somebody didn't have internet I guess. Um, I don't know why you would buy sex tapes at this point. It's pointless. You can get anything for free online. But they don't even make VCR. It had to be a sex DVD or a tape. Yeah, DVD, whatever. And then the crazy thing is the DVDs be so expensive. Mm, 30 dollars so Yeah, like I can't see free poom poom on online. Yeah, we are in what? Soho. 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 It's not gonna look like, cause I don't know if it's in the heart of Soho though. So it may not look like that. back there. Yeah. And this is like the back end. Back end of Soho. Pulling in. You are beautiful. Uh, hopefully there's some parking up in here. It look like there's a bit of weight already. It's a parking spot. Mm, I guess you can park there. I'm scared. You can park here. Well, there's parking, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I've seen a couple people outside. It look like we in the hood somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have we been here before? Is our first time? It's been a while. Yeah, welcome in. Are we uh, playing some games today or just getting some food, some drinks? Food and drinks. Well, I definitely encourage you guys to take a look around, see what we got to offer if you haven't been here before. So what's in there? So we have rosé, which is like a, uh, a frozen vodka uh, rose drink. We also have a, um, a peach lemonade frozen. I really like that one. And we also have uh, a white Russian that's frozen, which is like a coffee liqueur frozen drink. Rosé. Rosé? Sure. Yeah. Can't really talk because the music and I don't know if it's copyright. It's been a long night. Yeah, we'll explain it later. Has not been working out, so we'll talk.
<laughs> well, you guys, we are officially back in the car. Light. Well, dang. You're right, but still. We are officially back in the car. And child, it has been a show, okay? It has been terrible, okay? People are acting like coronavirus don't exist, okay? It is ridiculous. We don't feel safe. It's not safe out here. Okay, so we went to the first place, which we had the whole backstory about, and what happened. Basically, they wasn't social distancing. No. They're not dancing like it's the club. So what happened was David went to go um, put the name on the list to wait for a table. And when he went for a table, they first said an hour. Then he was like, no, I don't I don't think so. We ended up going with the hour. But when he went back in there to tell them about it, they had put on the cha-cha slide. Oh Lord! And then everyone started jumping up on the dance floor to cha cha slide together. With no mask. With no, I mean. And they like, you know, the part where they say, "Can you get down low, all the way to the floor?" Yeah, they like <laughs> skin to skin on everybody. And like, this a <laughs> this restaurant not that big. No, it no not big at all. But I wasn't considering that because I didn't think people would be like whatever. So when. They put on the cha cha slide. You could, David said he saw the way to run up to the DJ, like, no, 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 we can't play songs like this. Like, no. And he's like, oh, my bad, we'll do the next song or something like that. So, David came back to the car, child, looking very uncomfortable. <laughs> so, I'm like, David's a little bit more lax than me when it comes to the Rona and situations. But he came back looking like, uh, even like even like walking like even like walking in like the doorway is all blocked full of people like that there's everybody's like on your back and shoulder to shoulder and it's like um i don't i don't i feel like we gonna catch something in here yeah so when you sat down like well if david feel like that then it's probably true but mm. So anyway, we ended up going to this other restaurant down the street, which was hectic anyway because David wanted to go somewhere else at first, and then we went somewhere else. Then we ended up turning around going to same that place to find out that the place ain't the place no more. <laughs> so and they were closed in the, and they were closing in 20 minutes 20 from minutes. the time that yeah. we got there. So we like, oh my God, let's go to a different place. Then David decides that he don't want to go to that place, so we came to the place that you just seen now. And the food was not up to the prices par. No wonder why there wasn't nobody in there. They were selling like, I, I couldn't even tell you, like the food, they only had like pizza and like some random like beans Pizzas, and stuff. Pizza, salad, burgers, and chicken. My plate, it, it, it was not worth the money. It was, it was eighteen dollars for that little thing, and it might look good on camera, and it was, but like I don't really like sweet potato like that. And the kale wasn't properly steamed down, and then um, mine was eighteen dollars. Each of our drinks and, was thirteen dollars. And the drinks we're still drinking now, but it's not like it's not wet willies. So it all came to like seventy bucks, and then got added tip in, so you know eighty dollars later. <laughs> and, and we, we had to pay for parking. And we haven't been out that long. No. They're gonna be like, y'all hood back already? <laughs> it's only 11 o'clock. They already had them plates ready. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> that food came out so fast. Yeah. So now we just call it a night. We said, you know what? It's not meant. It's so sad because. Like we said, we never been out. We haven't been out in a long time. And we don't know when we're gonna get another chance. And yeah, and I don't want to impede, you know, friends and stuff like that. And they already came out their way, so it'll probably be a while before I ask again. But it's so sad. So and it's cold, rainy. Like, since when did we have another season in October? Now all of a sudden, the weather is terrible right now. Yeah, it's like cold rain right now. So we just gonna go home. I'm just gonna snatch off my wig. 
my makeup and just like go hug my kids because they sleep. I know. <laughs> I can kiss them. I no, can... let them sleep. I'm gonna kiss them. No. I always kiss them at night when they sleep. Let them. Let, don't, you don't let, even know don't that mess, I do that. Don't mess with them. I'm gonna kiss my baby. So I don't care what he say. Uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go hug a pillow. So this is it. You know. We taking I, a big L. Yeah, this, this is this is it. I'll probably end up showing after this maybe what my twist look like. Or maybe I'll put that in another video. Basically, this may be the last clip. So if this is, you know, definitely love you guys. Thank you for riding along with us on our first date situation. Love you guys. Until next time. Till next time.